G'day, Keithy here, thanks for joining me. So today I'm going to introduce you to Lieutenant Dan, the Army trailer. I've got to leave for a trip very soon, probably be on the trip by the time you see this, if not already returned. Um, yeah, but I've got one day to get this trailer registered and that uh, it also includes wiring it up, so I'll show you what this is all about. Okay, so this is Lieutenant Dan. Don't mind the stuff everywhere. I've just started doing some wiring stuff. Um, I've just removed the old NATO wiring setup. I've got tools and stuff everywhere. So you see this um, wiring loom over here. That's what these number five army trailers came with originally. They used to be pulled behind parentes. They've even got the old pintle hook here. Yay, happy days. Well, I've got a pintle hook attachment on my um, Range Rover, so that's okay. I can pull this behind there. Now, the reason that I'm, I have got Lieutenant Dan and why I'm using it is because this thing will follow me anywhere I go. It's got ground clearance galore. It's got more ground clearance than the Range Rover does, funny enough. What I have to do now, uh, I'm not going to do today, I'm going to change that to the same stud um, hub setup as the Range Rover so that I can keep the wheels alike and share spares, etc. if I have to. But for now, that'll do because I picked this up for a steel and it's got brand new tyres on it. 750 16 Michelins, so I will continue to use them for now anyway. Uh, and when the time comes, I can change them. But I actually got this for a song, it's in really good condition. It's been used, granted, needs a bit of a clean up, which I will do today before I uh, register it. Uh, it didn't have the canvas canopy, so I've got one ready to go onto that. There's a little bit of a work in progress. I've also got some LED lights, which I'm going to mount to the rear. Got to do the wiring, make sure the lights work, and then I'm gonna take it down and um, get it registered. And then the mad mission to pack and head off on this trip. It's gonna be awesome. I'll have a video up for that one, hopefully by next Wednesday, if not soon thereafter. But anyway, I thought I'd introduce you to Lieutenant Dan. Stay tuned, because there'll be more on this. This is I'm just getting it going for this weekend, basically, so that we can do this trip. And um, then once we're home, I can spend a bit of time actually doing it up and, and getting it into full camp mode. Uh, for now, I just need to be able to make it work for this trip. So finished product, they're bolted in and I've wired them up to the um, to the loom, to the trailer plug loom. Now I've got to go around the front and actually wire up the trailer plug itself so that they all work and then we'll test them out. Alright, now's the fun part. Wiring loom to plug. Pretty easy, they all just screw in here, just cut off a little bit on the ends. You don't need much to do that. Let's get into it.
there you have it. Only took me a couple of minutes to do that. So I'll close it and then I'll test it out to see that it all works. Alrighty, so I've just started the car up and hooked it up. You can see one there, another one there. That's because the lights automatically come on in my Range Rover. So I'll go and test out the indicators individually, hazard lights and brakes. We'll see how they go. That's a win in my books. Now I've just got to take it off to the Department of Transport, get a number plate on this sucker and we're good to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.